Hello, welcome to another vlog. It is nearly midnight, I have a cold, feel a little bit shitty, not gonna lie. Woke up from a nap about an hour ago, but got books to read, got things to do. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> um, it is the Goldenrod Gym for my Pokemon readathon that I do on Patreon, if you didn't know. On my Patreon, I do a year long Pokemon themed readathon and there are 24 hour readathons scattered throughout the year that are based on the gyms and we're doing the goldenrod gym tomorrow in five minutes there are still a good few gyms left for the year so if you wanted to join for future gyms you can do so for as little as one pound a month if you have a spare squid feel free to join us that's not just for gyms though you get access to the year-long readathon reading sprints that i do every week Patreon feed access, etc. Uh, you didn't ask me though, what you're here for is my 24 hour reading. So, what am I gonna read? Big question, small answer, I don't know. Um, I am gonna start with one of these two. Not entirely sure what one yet. Maybe this one, but I'm kinda leaning towards this one, but because it's nearly midnight, I should probably start with this one and then when I start to, like, lag a little bit, swap over to this one probably a good plan. Uh, this one is on my these books will self-destruct thing, hence the little black tab, so it will be good to get to this one and it should be fairly quick I think because it's a novelization of the graphic novels and it's got like little comic-y bits scattered throughout it as well um, about a girl who lives in a hotel, her father runs the hotel but she wants to be a detective, not a... what is she, like a valet? something like that, and she solves mysteries around the hotel. And this one is volume zero of Toilet Bound Hanako Kun, which is like the original story of how Toilet Bound came to be, like before it was the whole series that I'm now entirely up to date on. It was originally just this little short collection of chapters about fucking Kath. About Yashiro who summons a ghost from a toilet to get revenge on her ex-boyfriend and I think the ghost like wants to kill her ex-boyfriend or something so very different to what Toilet Bound ended up being but I'm intrigued to see what it started off as. So they're my first two choices. I will need to read a middle grade at some point and I'm really not in the mood for that so that will be fun um, but we'll see what else happens. Anyway, it is very nearly midnight, I'm about to do some kickoff sprints with my patrons so I shall see you when... did you just hear Jake fart? That was outrageous! I will see you when I've done some reading. 1am <laughs> seems like a good time for an update. I have started Goldie Vance. Um, I am up to chapter 6, which is page 75, so 75 pages in the first hour is not too bad. Um, I will be honest with you, I am not too sure of the writing style so far. It's like a, sh it's like, uh, blah, blah, blah. it's like stream of consciousness from Goldie's point of view, and Goldie is incredibly scatterbrained, like her thoughts are just all over the place, whether they are relevant or not. So the writing therefore is a little bit chaotic and all over the place but it is very like true to character so i get that but yeah just not entirely sure about that but uh she's a likeable character she is in the comics it's not a bad story so far i'm i'm liking the story very typical goldie vance um just yeah the writing is a little bit <laughs> um but it is proving to be quick so let's keep going. 2 a.m Time for another small update. I am over halfway through this. I'm on page 147. Lots of mermaids. The writing style is still a little bit irritating with like the um, running monologue almost of Goldie's thoughts. Um, but we're like, th the mystery is happening. I am getting sleepy, which is bad. <laughs> um, it is progressing um, and I am very hopeful that I will finish this before I go to sleep. That's my plan. Um, good God, I look tired. <laughs> Alas, continuing. 3 a.m. update. I have 40 pages left of this book so I'm gonna take it to bed with me and finish it. Um, my cold has thickened in the last half an hour 
and I now feel a bit more unwell than I did. My head hurts, like my nose hurts all up round to my eye and up into my temples. <laughs> uh, I did not opt to have a cold on the day that I was doing a 24 hour readathon. Not ideal. But yeah, I'm gonna go get myself some water, take some cold and flu tablets, and finish the last 40 pages of this in bed. Um, I will not update you again until the morning, but I can tell you how it's gonna end. <laughs> well, not how it's gonna end, but how I feel about how it's gonna end. Um, because they're now at the point where they're like solving the mystery and she's just had the big revelation about whose fault it was. Um, entirely predictable, knew that it was going to be that person before anything had even been stolen, and I haven't been enjoying the writing style. My intrigue hasn't been incredibly high, like, I just haven't been hooked. It's just been a quick read, um, but I'm glad to have read it because it was on my self-destruct list, so there's that. Um, but I'm eager to read something a little bit more exciting tomorrow, so yeah. But I'm gonna go and finish it off in bed and put myself to sleep because I need to sleep some of this headache off because it hurts. Alright, I shall see you after some sleep in the morning for more reading. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, you nearly fell. Good morning. Um, just about, it's half past 11. Um, I have been up for a little while. I just haven't updated you yet. In fact, I've read all of Toilet Bound Volume Zero this morning. Um, so book two done before 12 o'clock, perfect. This was interesting. Half of it was what I knew it was gonna be, the uh, Volume Zero of Toilet Bound being the origin of the story where Yashiro wanted to get revenge on her ex-boyfriend and curse him to death. And it was just that like, short that the rest of Toilet Bound is based on. The other half, which I realise it does actually say on the back, is um, the author Ida Iroh's debut work, My Dear Living Dead, which is a short story about necromancers killing off the living dead, but they're able to select one living dead as their like life partner so in this world necromancers have their abilities appear at a young age and then they're taken away from their families and taken to like be owned by the church to perform their duties as a necromancer and when they reach a certain age they get to select a body to become their like partnered living dead so a living dead working with them to kill the other living dead and they become like soul bound interesting completely different um, not really into zombie stories, not gonna lie, but the main character in that was a little bit messed up, so fascinating. Anyway, I've read it. It is done. We are moving on. Now, I have Starfell as an option, but I have the audiobook for this, and I'm thinking I might wait until a little bit later in the day to do an audiobook, because I'm still very much in the mood for physical reading. So I was having a look through the prompts for myself and one of them is to read a sequel and I was looking around thinking oh have I got any sequels that are like shouting out to me right now that aren't enormous because I have a lot of gigantic sequels that are shouting out to me right now. Um, this is a sequel and it is a middle grade so it fills two of those prompts but it's an audiobook and I don't want an audiobook right now. Don't get me wrong, I could physically read it, but the audiobooks are so good, and I think having an audiobook like, as a reserve for later in the day when I'm not feeling physically reading is probably a good idea. So I'm going to temporarily pop that to one side for later, because a sequel that I have been eyeing up is this one, uh, Witch Week by Diana Wynne-Jones. This is book three in the Crestomancy series. I have actually started it, I'm on page 64 already, um, so I've already started it. This is what I'm going to be reading. These read fairly quickly, but already this one is very different to the other Crestomancy books. In fact, each of them are quite different. So in the first one, we... Oh god, it's been so long since I read the first one, can I even remember? Oh yeah, it's about Gwendolyn. The first one's about Gwendolyn wanting to be a witch and when 
things don't quite go her way. Like, she's a real brat of a witch, but she's a very powerful magician, and things are, yeah, I remember now. Weird. And then the second one, the Magicians of Caprona, um, is about two warring wizard families, and then how Crestomancy is, like, between them, but can't pick a side, but has to help both of them, but lots of magic and so on. Yeah, it's, it's hard to um, summarise these books. This one, already, is very different. This is about a school for orphans where, like, magic is absolutely a no-go. They find out that someone is a witch, but witchcraft is entirely forbidden, so it's like working out who is the witch. And Crestomancy is probably going to arrive at some point to uh, discover who the witch is. But yeah, already very different. I'm not enjoying this one so far as much as I did the other two, but I'm still very early in. So I'm going to continue with this, which wasn't what I anticipated myself reading today, but it's it's what I've gravitated towards, so I'm just going to go with it. Also, um, hello Matchy Matchy? Matchy Matchy. <laughs> Oh, hello. I feel like I need to move, because I've been in this position, in this chair, for every clip. But I promise you, I have been out to a shop. I did go to bed last night. I just have been sitting here to do all my reading, and I'm quite comfortable. My cold is really stuffing up my nose right now, though, so... Oh. I wanted to give you a bit of an update on Witch Week. I'm over 100 pages in now. I'm on chapter 7, page 112. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if this was um, a wise choice on my part, because I'm a little bit bored. Um, it's about this school. Someone at the school is a witch. I know who it is. The characters, other than the one who is a witch, don't know who it is. And this kid is accidentally doing witchy things and like trying to not get caught like they don't want to be a witch they before they knew they were a witch they were totally on board with the burn the witches sort of thing um but now they know they are a witch they are accidentally doing witchy things and trying to force themselves to not do witchy things but it's just a bit boring like it's this school setting and most of the boys in this school are just bullies and they are beating up the teacher's son who goes to the school and I don't know I'm just not enjoying it and as I am now like a hundred pages in I am uh, debating my choices but Crystal Mancy hasn't arrived and I feel like it would it will be so much more exciting when Crystal Mancy is there so I kind of feel like I should push on, but I'm also really bored with it, so I don't know how I really feel. I'm gonna keep going, I think, because like I've read a hundred pages and in a 24 hour readathon I don't want to be DNFing a book that I've just spent time getting a hundred pages into. It's half one now, so I feel like I should carry on, but I'm just not not feeling it. I want to get to the next one in it, which is the lives of Christopher Chan, because that one looks a lot more exciting to me. Like, a lot more exciting. But no! I'm stuck with this and these annoying kids in this annoying school. Um, so that's how I'm feeling about that. Maybe I could pause and read something else for a little bit and come back to it later? Regretting my choices. I wish this one was as fun as the other ones were. <laughs> Hello! I don't know if you can even see me because of the sun, but I have moved out into the garden. Um, I am laying on the patio on a Christmas blanket, um, and I have... I don't, can't remember if I even told you this, but I've swapped book from Witch Week, and I've started the audiobook of Starfell, just so I can lay in the sun and listen to it for a bit. Um, I am a little way into it. I'm on page 26, so not far at all, and I think I'm just going to chill and listen to this in the sun for a little bit. I've got some Patreon sprints that are about to begin. I think my setup in the garden is a bit shit, because I would naturally be on the swing, but Jake's decided to claim the entire swing for himself, so I'm on the ground. Oh look, you can see 
laundry that I didn't get in. I got in the rest of it, I just missed that. Oh, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna begin those sprints and listen to Starfell and chill. I'm a bit nervous, to be honest, although I'm only 26 pages in, um, because I'm really not in a middle grade mood. I'm nervous that I'm not gonna enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed the other ones, because not in the mood for it doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to be as good but I have a middle grade prompt to fulfill today and I know the audiobooks are good they're fun so just gonna roll with it hello I probably should have updated you before now um it is 20 past six the day is absolutely flying away um however a little bit earlier I did finish Starfell the sun is like right right there. Um, I finished Starfell. I'm still not in a middle grade mood. I'm just not and I don't know when the middle grade mood is going to return. But it is done. I have read it. I liked it. It was fun. I think it was as good as the other Starfells. I'm just not in a middle grade mood so I don't think I had as much fun but it's absolutely no fault of the book and I can see that it was as good and as well produced for the audiobook as the other Starfell books had been and I really liked how it ended as well so there's that I just am not in a middle grade mood the sun is like I can't see shit <laughs> so I'm just cowering in a corner now so that is that finished which means that I have finished three books so far these three and I think last time I spoke to you about which week I was like 112 pages in or something I have decided after finishing Starfell to go back to which week I am now on page 165 I am here um I'm gonna try and finish this it is kind of boring I'm not having as much fun with this as I did with like the Magicians of Caprona for example um but I'm still eager to continue this series so I do need to read this book because I want to get through like a lot of Diana Windsor and stuff because the Howl's Moving Castle trilogy like one of my favorites love that so want to read more of her stuff and I've read the what was the first one called Charmed Life and the Magicians of Caprona and in order to progress on to the lives of Christopher Chan and mixed magics and so on. I need to read this. But Christomancy still hasn't even shown up in this. Is Christomancy going to show up? I don't know. I'm over halfway though. We'll see. We'll see what time it ends up being when I finish this as to if I pick up anything else. You can probably spy up here. I did get out Dark Blade before I decided I was just going to persevere with this. But we'll see how long this takes me to finish but yeah it's just a bit boring which is weird because like there's been a lot of chaotic witchcraft stuff but I'm not vibing with it but I'm gonna keep going so yeah there's your update for now this is what my 24 hour readathon is looking like I still love how my hair matches that cover though so there's that <laughs> and I still feel like shit <laughs> hello it is actually the next day now. Um, I have this in my lap. Um, I did finish this yesterday. I just felt like garbage so ended up kind of binning off most of the rest of the day. The cold really knocked it out of me yesterday and I am mad that my 24 hour readathon was hijacked by a cold. That was not an ideal situation. But I definitely told you that I finished Starfell. So we know that I finished these three yesterday. I should turn that around because that's the front of it. So we know that I finished these three. I then had like, what was it, like half of this left, I think, the last time we spoke. I did end my Patreon sprints earlier than I wanted to because I felt like crap and take myself to bed and finished the audiobook of this. I didn't read it with my eyeballs because my eyeballs hurt. Um, so I finished it. It was really boring. I'm not super impressed by this at all but I'm glad that I finished it because it means I can continue with the Crestomancy series. Um, but that does mean that my 24-hour readathon 
looked a bit like this. See, now I need to turn that around again so that you can actually see the spine. But there you go. My 24 hour readathon ended up looking a bit like this. Um, so I'm pretty pleased for four books in a day, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm pleased that I managed to get Witch Week done because I didn't predict that, like that wasn't on my plan. I won't lie, I would have loved to have done a bit more, but having that cold just knocked it out of me yesterday. I will say I feel so much better today, so much better. I'm still a bit snuffly, still a bit sneezy, um, but I'm feeling ridiculously better. Like I don't have the headache that I had yesterday, my eyes don't hurt like they did yesterday. Either the medicine that I'm taking is working or I was just cursed, uh, probably cursed. But yeah, I'm still pleased that even whilst feeling like a bag of shit, hello emails, um, even whilst feeling like a bag of shit, I did manage to get all four of these done. So there is that. And I'm sorry I didn't wrap this vlog up yesterday. I feel like a fraud. Um, but yeah, I am now settling in to do a Pokemon watch along with my patrons. We are continuing watching the Pokemon series, so very excited to do that. Um, but that's a story for another time, I guess, because the 24 hour readathon is done. So I'm going to wrap this vlog up. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, give us a thumbs up, chat to me down below. If you want to participate in the next 24 hour readathon that I do with my patrons, the link to my Patreon is down below. You can join for one pound a month. Just a squid. Uh, no pressure though, because, you know, cost of living. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having a good reading month so far. And I will see you in whatever comes next. Bye. Bye.